Okay, okay tell me which chapter. Uh, magnetic effect. Magnetic effect of electric current. Of electric current. You have the textbook with you? Yes, I do. Read the subtitles and the headings. Main bold. Sir, sorry. You have the textbook. Read the heading. Read the subtitle. Read some columns. Read some highlighted uh, act activities in that. Yeah. Mm. Uh, magnetic effect of electric current and electromagnetic induction. Magnetic. I am. I am going to ask you meaning of each of the words which you are using. Okay, okay, doctor. So, it, if you have a pen and paper, you must write it down so that you are clear that what I am asking. Okay. So the first term is magnets. What magnets is magnets? Are magnets are solid objects of stone. Uh, actually, there is a definition written over here. But uh, can I tell the definition, the general definition, which is much more simpler? Well, whatever you, I see when I ask, don't ask three questions back. Whatever you think, you answer it first. Okay. No counter questions. Actually, okay. Keep that in mind. All right, doctor. Uh, magnets are anything made of uh, made of metal, uh, made of iron, nickel, or cobalt that can attract magnetic materials when it's placed near its magnetic field. Okay, okay, then continue. Read. Okay. Uh, next, discovery of magnet. Magnet was discovered by an ancient Greek shepherd named Magnus. Once, while he was feeding with his crook, the metallic end of the crook got stuck with the rocks. Those rocks contained the natural magnet, magnetite. Story of magnetite spread far and wide. Some people believe that magnetite was discovered at a place called Magnesia. This property of rocks made them very useful as direction finders and they came to be called leading stone or lodestone. Magnets can be natural or artificial. Iron ore magnetite is a part of naturally occurring rock. Natural magnets. Magnet which is found naturally is called natural magnet and vice versa artificial magnet. Magnet which is, found, which is made by humans is called artificial magnet. Types of magnets. Magnets are made in different shapes and they are named according to the shape. Example, bar magnet, dumbbell shaped magnet, horseshoe magnet, cylindrical magnet, etc. Magnetic materials. Mag ma materials which are attracted towards a magnet are called magnetic materials. Example, iron, nickel and cobalt. Non-magnetic materials, materials which are not attracted to... Okay, it. now you have periodic table in front of you. You are re reading physics which I know. Yes. But in the periodic table, do you know where these elements come? Uh, no, I don't. You have to find out. Okay. Because you are talking about elements. Yeah. Don't worry whether it is chemistry or physics. That is knowledge. Yes. So what to be done is generally when you get into that immediately go to that Oh, you must relate elements are coming in chemistry. So let me find out where is that. Okay. Do you have a periodic table with you? Yes, I just I found out nickel comes uh, nickel is 28 atomic number 28 and um, <laughs> Atomic, uh, cobalt is atomic number. Twenty-eight and cobalt comes twenty-seven. Yes. See, you, you must have never thought about this, right? 
No. Magnetic, when you study magnet, you don't have to learn chemistry. That's what you thought. No. Yeah. Well, element dependent comes, the property of element is what determines whether it is a magnet or not. Yeah. Because it has to have... Hmm. Electrons ready to electrons ready to pick up. That is how the attraction comes. There is electricity generated inside. Yeah. Yeah. Now you now you when you read think this this way. Yeah. Yeah. Um so shall I continue reading? Yeah. Uh, we stopped at types of magnets. Next is magnetic materials. Materials which are attracted towards a magnet are called magnetic materials. For example, iron, nickel, cobalt. So now you should know why is it attracting? Because in the outer... Hmm. The outer... The uh, atomic orbit. The atomic orbit is the outer orbit. They, they need something to get attracted. There is a potential energy there. Wow. They are looking for something to make a, no, come closer to that. That's why the that that's why the property is magnetic. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, non-magnetic materials, materials which are not attracted towards the magnet are called non-magnetic materials. Yeah. Example: aluminium, zinc, wood, rubber, etc. Poles of a magnet. Magnet has two poles. Uh, North Pole and South Pole. The magnetic, the magnetic power is concentrated on the poles of the magnet. Pole of the magnet lies slightly inside from the end. When a magnet is suspended freely with the help of an unspun thread, it comes to rest along the north-south direction. Pole which points towards geographic north is called North Pole, and the pole which points towards geog geographical south is called South Pole. Straight line passing through north and south poles of a magnet is called the axial line of the magnet. Line passing through the center of the magnet in the direction perpendicular to the length of the magnet is called equatorial line of the magnet. That means your magnet has to be a bar magnet. Yes, in this case. Yeah. Uh, next is atomic or more. Why is it so? Because the earth has got a magnetic field. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And we yeah. call it as north and south poles. Yeah. Actually, north and south is only direction. Nothing to do with electrical energy, magnetic energy, and all that. You are getting what I'm saying. It's a geography. Yeah. I am. I am. It's geography. It is nothing to do with science. Yeah. That's why I said we call it. That's how human beings started calling it. The other is the property of a element, property of a metal. Yeah. Something to do with energy. Now we are relating that to Earth. Yes. Because Earth itself is a bigger element. Got it? Yes. In which yes. it has got a electromagnetic line yeah. which is like a la la longitudinal lines yes. north pole south pole longitudinal lines that's called a longitudinal latitudinal is horizontal to the equator right yeah so crosses you can now you must see the earth as a big magnet which has got a south pole and north pole uh, yes, yes. Okay, yeah. but now when I said North Pole and South Pole, your magnet, the North looks at North Pole, therefore actually the North Pole of Earth is the South Pole. Yeah, because opposite sides are right. Understood, you know, it's a great concept. Most of the, most of the people don't think like this. Most of the physics teachers don't understand like this. Uh, honestly, when I didn't know that until you. I am saying that's because that's how that's how people teach without even framing. You when you read that word by word, you must visualize. Yeah. 
science is something which you can visualize so now are you seeing it lot of people are holding magnet and then seeing it is not actually the earth is looking at you and then saying what a fool you are i am south that's why you are north is looking at me yeah yeah uh, so the next one is atomic or molecular theory of magnetism yeah. the molecular theory of magnetism was given by weber and modified later by edwin edwin hmm. Uh, according to this theory, every molecule of a magnetic substance, whether magnetized or not, is a complete magnet itself, having a north and a south pole, and a south pole of equal strength. Yeah, because if there is a north pole, there has to be a south pole. Because it doesn't have, it is just a balanced element. Only thing when it get magnetized, it's like in getting an energy. It uh, uh, no. manifest itself by putting some electrons here some protons there yes but it's totally like a balanced one yes so it's it's like a oh it's an element without any energy but it acts as that is why it is balanced yeah yes um uh, okay next one in an unmagnetized Well, you write the name of name of the scientist and uh, write the uh, no when you write the answers in the examination may not be your internal doesn't matter but when you write in competitive exams such places when you write, mention the name of the person and then explain the theory it has a value because it is there in the textbook if it has no value they will not even mention it don't ignore there are see when you read you must find out oh this is a man who has done it so you have a molecule you have an iron you have an atom you have elements electrons it's all chemistry yeah but you are reading physics yeah yeah in a unmagnetic substance the molecular magnets are randomly oriented such that they join close chains as shown uh, the north pole of one molecular magnet cancels the effect of south pole of the other so that the resultant magnetism of the unmagnetized specimen is zero yeah that's what i said it's balanced space absolutely there is no energy but it manifests itself by putting it in two different poles yeah. third on magnetizing the substance the molecular magnets are realigned so that north poles of all molecular magnets point in one direction and south poles of all molecular magnets point in another direction opposite direction extent of magnetism of the specimen is the extent of realignment of the molecular magnets number 4 when all the molecular magnets are fully aligned substance is said to be saturated with magnetism at all the stages strengths of the two poles developed will be always equal on heating uh, on heating the magnetized specimen molecular magnets acquire some kinetic energy some of the molecules may be- get back to the closed chain arrangement that is why magnet of specimen would reduce on heating this is called demagnetization yeah heating Magnet- definitely make the elements to move its energy heating is you are agitating the molecules agitating the atom agitating the electrons so it will resettle back yeah next one magnetic magnetic field is is around a magnet or the space around a conductor carrying current in which the magnetic effect can be experienced SI unit of magnetic field is tesla uh, there are three types of magnetic fields uniform outward and inward magnetic field in a region is said to be uniform if the magnetic field vector b has the same uh, magnitude and the same direction at all the points in the region only example of nearly magnetic uh, uniform nearly uniform magnetic field over a wide area is that due to earth's magnetism 
the uniform magnetic field acting in the plane of the paper is represented by equidistant parallel lines. Uniform magnetic field acting perpendicular to the plane of the paper and inwards is represented by crosses. Uniform magnetic field acting perpendicular to the plane of paper and outwards is represented by dot. Uh, sir, I, I didn't understand that part. Can you explain it? You have the vector means it has got a direction as well as a magnitude. magnitude. Right. So when you draw lines, if every line which you are drawing with an arrow, one direction only arrow, that will show, oh, this is how. So when you are representing, you have to draw with equal size and parallel lines. Yeah. Right. That means the magnetism is same. But then there can be magnetism in the other directions also. Yeah. One is inside, one is outside. Yeah. From different directions also it could be there. Only on Earth, Earth is too large. So when you are considering a small area, when you keep a parallel paper, oh, you can say this is flat. Yeah. Otherwise, it has got an internal and outward. Both are possible. Uh, so, Doctor, like, the the, the field, magnetic field is represented by the letter B and uh, if it is vector it is represented by the arrow right? On, On the, the top, top you should have an arrow. Okay. And if the if the magnetic field is uniform, it is parallel lines. If it is, uh, if this is a paper, this is a paper and the magnetic field is perpendicular and it is acting inwards, it's process. And if it's perpendicular and acting outwards, it's a circuit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. See, See crosses is because if something hits, what will happen? Okay, oh, it is hitting. So that is why it puts like a cross. Like a ball, it both goes out. When we say ball, it goes out. So that's why the round is marked wrongly. Okay. So symbolically... Is magnetic, uh, is magnetic field always vector? Definitely when there is a energy which you can measure, it has got a magnitude. Magnitude all, I mean the magnetism always have a direction. You should have say either south pole or north pole, right? Yeah. So there is a direction and a magnitude, it has to be a vector. If only direction, only if magnitude, it can be a scalar. So, but you have to say which direction it is. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Um, there, there is one question. So I'm sure I'm putting that question and moving on to the next. Magnetic effect of current. Uh, Denmark born German scientist Hans Christian Eersted, uh, 1820, while demonstrating an experiment to his students in his laboratory, found that a magnetic needle placed below a wire showed some deflection whenever there was current flowing through the wire. The direction of deflection of the magnetic needle is reversed when the direction of current in the wire is reversed. This shows that a magnetic field is associated with the current carrying wire. Magnetic field produced by the conductor carrying current thus interacts with the magnetic needle and deflects it. The branch of physics which deals with the magnetism due to electric current is called electromagnetic electromagnetism. Uh, Ampere swimming rule. According to this rule, if we imagine a man is swimming along the wire in the direction of current, with his face always turns towards the needle, so that the current enters at his feet and leaves at his head, that the north pole of the magnetic needle will be deflected towards its left hand side. It means current from south to north in a wire over the magnetic needle, north pole of the needle is deflected towards west. Uh, actually, uh, actually, Dr. Clay, there is another method. This is swimming rule. There was one more uh, law called snow, snow rule, south, north, over west. So uh, I, th I think the, the teacher didn't teach us the swimming rule. He 
He taught us that the he taught us the snow rule. If um, if the if the current is flowing from south to north, and it the 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 if the current is flowing from south to north and the field is placed over the needle, then the needle will be deflected towards west. And uh, if the current is flowing from south to north below the needle, it will be deflected towards east. And if the current is flowing from north to south over the needle, that it will be deflected towards east. And if the current is flowing from north to south below the needle, it will be deflected towards west. I think it's the same thing but different different laws. Yeah, you assume that you have a wire like this and you are passing current from here to here. So when it goes from here to here, you are connecting it onto a battery or a then you know where from which direction the current flows. Uh, can you explain that again? No. No. Suppose you have a wire and then connect to a battery here. Yeah. Okay, the electrons flows from the bottom of the battery where you have got it to the positive. Negative to positive is where it flows. So if it flows like this, it flows from here like this. So when it flows like this, automatically in the direction in which the magnetic flow will be in this direction. Perpendicular to that. That means there is a deflection happening. This is where the, the pen will be showing. That is where the dynamo principle. Same whatever you are getting. Listen to that doctor. You visualize it when you are reading. Yeah, but with the pen you showed, I didn't, I didn't get that. Yeah. See, when you say south to north, what is south to north? The current. No, what is south to north for a current when you are saying? Uh, south to north your current. Maybe we consider this as south and this as north. Yeah, that is what I am saying. Below that and above that you are saying. When do below and above will come? Only when it is around. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah, that's kind of I know you did not visualize. That is why I am telling you this. It should be visualized like this. Got it? So when you hold it like this, you know the current passes from here. Assume that it is passing from here. From here it is from north to south. The other direction it will be from south to north. Okay, so clockwise will be from south to north, anti-clockwise will be from north to south. That that is that is how you the way you are holding. If I am holding it like this or holding it like this. So you must understand the direction in which it goes. Yeah. Right. Perpendicular to that, there is an electric field which is generated. Uh, but in the in this case, the pen will be deflected towards which side? Yeah, if it is like this, it will be deflected towards this. Because I am flowing from here to the other side. So, sir, the, the I mean, doctor, the pen won't be deflected. This, if I would the pen deflect it, there is an electric energy which is generated. That energy is because of the magnetic energy. That's why it is called electromagnetic energy. Okay. What is electromagnetic energy? When there is a electricity passing, now you will learn. Yeah, yeah. The no, Fleming left. Yeah. Now, if it is going like this, definitely in this direction there is a magnetic energy. Uh, okay. Uh, one minute, one minute. So, if this is a pen, for example, this is a hole of. For example, this is a pen. I'm winding the wire on top of it. So according to the text, if the if this pen with wire hold and the current is passing from south to north, which means south to north clockwise direction. So if this pen is placed over a needle, if I'm bringing a needle below this pen, the needle will, will get deflected towards the west. Ah, yes. Ah, okay. Now, now I understood. Because before I didn't think of this circular thing. Let's I see when you are saying. saying on the top when it is south to north, bottom it is... <laughs> See, that means there has to be a circle, no? Then only it will be there. Yeah, and for Earth also it is always like that. Yes, sir. See, when your satellite is going, 
if it is going from north to the south in one direction the other direction it is going from the other way because it has to come back right yeah yeah uh the next the next is biot sawat slow and uh, this is one of the areas in the chapter i didn't understand at all so biot sawat slow is an expected law predicted by biot and sawat the slow deals in the magnetic field at a point to a small current element a part of any conductor carrying current let us consider a small element ab of length dl uh, the dl length i think it's elementary length that's why it's called dl of the conductor xy carrying a current i let r r vector be the position vector of the point p from the current element dl vector and uh, sin be the angle between dl vector and r vector according to biot biot sawat's law strength of magnetic field db also called magnetic flux density at a point p due to current element depends upon the factors as stated below uh, the factors magnetic field at the surface Dep depends upon the factors below magnetic field at the center of the circular coil carrying current consider a circular coil of radius r with the center o lying with its plane in the lying with its within with its plane in the plane of the paper let i be the current flowing in the circular coil in the direction shown in figure in this case the direction of db vector is perpendicular to the plane of the current loop and is directed inwards the total magnetic field at point o due to current in the whole circular coil can be obtained by d is equal to mu 0 i by 2 r if the circular coil consists of n turns then b is equal to mu 0 n i by 2 r circular so circular coil carrying current acts as magnetic dipole the magnetic dipole moment is given by m is equal to ia if the coil has n turns m is equal to n i which is equal to n i pi r square uh, also doctor uh, the, the our teacher told uh, told in curling method which we, do, we did with our hands to determine if the magnetic field is inwards or outwards I, if i'm not wrong this is what i said uh, he said to like he said to place the for example this is a circle hmm this is a circle arrow is going from arrow is going uh, in the clockwise direction so he said to place the hand something like this and if it's like this it means it's going inwards and if it's going like this it's it means it's going outwards uh, i i didn't understand that also can you explain see that is what i'm saying don't uh, see when you are holding it like this like if you if you want to make it a full circle you have to hold it like this right yeah so this is inward this is outward sir but uh, the magnetic field is shown like in a plane of paper yeah see but you are taking a cross section and showing it because you cannot draw it on the that is why better to show that with a in a paper you will have to draw like that only right yeah so wherever it is from the center of the circle to the radius if it is too far it is the magnetic force will become less sorry sir if it is far yeah the magnetic effect will become less if it is close by because you you, you are you are passing an energy very far from your place suppose it is very close yeah then definitely in the center when you get o you look at if r is too large the p will become very less that is why r is in the denominator okay okay you look at yes 
magnetic field yeah, yeah magnetic, magnetic field, field will become less if the wire is too far that means your circle is having a radius too far too large uh, okay if it is very close it will be bound see that is why it comes in the denominator the rest of the things are all in the numerator the intensity is more the electric field is more the electricity is too large definitely magnetic field will become high right and mu is a constant yeah. that's it so it only means the potential energy or the energy what you can generate in terms of magnetism directly proportional to the intensity of the electricity which you are passing the electric current i is more it is more radius is more it will become in the denominator that's a, that's the rule that's it and if number of wires are more n times you are rotating that many times it will become more okay the formula is very clear i don't have to even to learn it uh, what what about the biot award law pardon biot award law that is what it is na the p is equal to mu not i divided by you will get r in the bottom to r yeah that is because it's the diameter to r yes very simple and if it is n multiply with n okay okay good enough yeah 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 Okay, doctor. Uh, it's a screen share option, so I can can I share the notes which I'm reading, so you can also take a look. What is the note you have made? No, the textbook. Not required. You read. That's good enough. I can visualize when you read also. My PhD is in electromagnetic energy, my dear. Oh. I'm a doctorate in electromagnetic energy. Okay, okay. This. It is all same. Whether you are using uh, electromagnetic here or the light, also when you study electromagnetic energy, yeah. electricity and magnetism. The whole world is electromagnetic energy. Yeah. Electromagnetic wave is the light wave. You are learning electromagnetic energy to know 0.4 to 0.7 visible region. So when you learn optics and physics, also electromagnetic energy, electricity also electromagnetic energy, magnetism also electromagnetic energy. This is the base. This is the base. Yes. Okay. So wherever there is electromagnetic energy, what will be there? There will be a wave. and that wave will have a wavelength yeah and when the wavelength is large frequency will be less number of times it goes up and down is called the frequency frequency only here it starts it goes up and then comes here then goes down this is called the wavelength oh, okay right so wavelength is large only once it has gone but in the same distance many time it goes that means wavelength is less frequency is that many times repeated uh, yeah. that shows whether you can reach farther whether you can have more energy whether the potential is higher dynamics is much better intensity is more all these are same common but you must be able to visualize see this i am seeing it yeah got it yeah yeah i have also earlier also many times if you look at my video dr cps electromagnetism it will be been explained to somebody else also that's why i asked many students who come to me when they first what they will do is they will check dr cps electromagnetic energy oh it is there fine but magnetism itself may not be there Yeah, like, like a chapter it may not be there, but basic concept electromagnetism will be there. Yeah. Yeah, moving on. Now, when you whenever you learn principles and formulas, you must visualize. Oh, R is more. 
the energy in the center will become less because you are passing electricity too far from your center intensity is more electric energy is more potential is more definitely the induced magnetism will become higher and number of coil just multiply that's a linear multiplication okay okay uh, can i read the next yeah okay direction of magnetic field b vector direction of magnetic field that is magnetic flux density so both are same magnetic field and magnetic flux density flux is actually the measurement light is also measured through flux flux meter uh measurement of field magnetic measurement of any density energy is flux okay okay see that, that is why what you should do is all the technical terms which you don't know real the real answer don't take it for granted write it down and look at dictionary there will be a beautiful definition there okay uh, direction of magnetic field b is perpendicular to the plane of circular coil yeah and directed inwards direction of magnetic field at the center of the circular loop is given by the right hand palm rule yeah that's why i said right hand palm rule Uh, right hand. So, so that is, is the same as. Uh, yeah, that is same. Okay. Whatever you learned, the swimmer rule, uh, northeast to southwest rule, down, bottom, up, and all that will be this only ultimately. Okay, uh, uh, doctor, can you can you show an example if you don't mind of this right hand palm rule? So you read, read further, finish that portion, then you you show me. Okay, uh, because I think that portion is completed. What is that which says? Read it. The last sentence. Uh, okay, I'll read the next one. B uh, two is equal to mu mu zero i by two uh, two r. No, no. I'm saying the direction in which it goes. Now, did I not show you with the wire? Yeah. yeah. So when I hold it like this, this is the direction of the current. This is the direction in which the electricity goes. This finger. Yeah. So here it is going up. In the bottom it will come down. Yeah. Correct. When I hold it like this, that's also like that. So it goes here. The other side it comes. It goes up. Comes inside. And this is the direction in which the electricity moves. Okay. Same. Okay. Ninety degree. Perpendicular. And whenever you have another rule. Assume that two perpendicular things are being pulled. Definitely, there has to be a potential in the other direction. Sorry, sir. You are in a not in a plane. You are in a sphere. Okay. So this is not one direction actually. This keeps on moving. Oh. So that means there is an electricity here. There is a magnetism. Electricity here. There is a magnetism there. Correct. So you are in the three direction. Yeah. Uh, can I can I read the next? Yeah. So B two is equal to mu mu zero i by two at work directed normally outwards. The two fields get added up. Total field at O O uh, O O B is equal to B one plus B two is equal to mu zero i by two by work. Uh, the whole into one plus one by pi directed normally outwards. Example. Uh, oh, uh, I'm I'm sorry, sir. Actually, that that was the next portion. I I think I I skipped the page. Uh, Somewhere there is a gap. That's why I was looking at you. How can you just jump into that? Uh, yeah, because I'm reading the digital version. I I think I missed the page. Yeah. I will go back and read. Uh, right hand rule according to this rule if we hold the thumb of right hand mutually perpendicular to the grip of the fingers such that the curvature of the fingers represents the direction of current in the wire loop then the thumb of the right hand will point in the direction of magnetic field near the center of the current current loop the same Like this also, if you hold, this will be the magnetic field. This will be the electric field. If you hold it like this, it will become less. Okay. 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 Ok
finished. So this right hand rule, right mixed rule, they are the same. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So uh, example two, circular coil of three hundred turns and diameter fourteen centimeter carries a current of fifteen ampere. What is the magnitude of magnetic moment associated with the coil? Yeah, okay, problems. You know the formula, then you have to just substitute the value and then do it. Continue with the theory. Okay. Uh, magnetic field due to a straight can straight conductor carrying current. Uh, straight conductor carrying. Consider the long straight. Conductor X Y lying in the plane of the paper carrying current I in the direction X to Y. Let P be a point at a perpendicular distance A or perpendicular distance A from the straight conductor. The direction of D B uh, vector according to right and right hand subword will be perpendicular to the plane of the paper and directed inwards. The total magnetic field. At point P, due to current through the whole straight conductor X Y, uh, P is equal to uh, mu zero I by four pi A. The whole into sine uh, uh, do doctor. What is the symbol for the circle and one line cutting? I think it's sine some. Uh, like a like a circle and one line in passing through it. It's phi, no? Phi, okay. Uh, because we didn't learn the trigonometric functions yet. That, that is, is not the trigonometric. trigonometric. You go to the uh, all the Greek Roman symbols. Learn all that. That will help you in every every uh, representation of physics and mathematics. Okay, sure. Uh, alpha, theta, gamma, beta, everything has to be learned. Phi, chi, sigma, all that is from that only. Uppercase and lowercase. Uppercase sigma, lowercase sigma, everything will become part of average, integration. For all that, these symbols are used. Uh, pi, pi itself is into that belongs to that, right? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, sine phi plus sine uh, phi one plus sine phi two. For an infinitely long conductor, phi one plus is equal to phi two is equal to pi by two, and b is equal to mu zero i by four pi a. The whole in two sine pi by two is equal to mu zero two i by four pi a. Direction of magnetic line. A is the area, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A is the area. A is the area. So what are you doing is because you cannot just talk about R. The R is removed and then kept A probably. When you started, you had R in the formula. Yeah, two R, by two R. Yeah, but now do you have R or A? Uh, now, now we have yes. No R. No, no. R. Yeah, Four that. Pi yeah, that is actually the two pi R, the circumference. Yeah. Area, area is replaced by the R. That is why pi came into picture. Earlier pi was not there. Yeah. Yeah. So you are only replacing the R with the pi and a. Uh, why, why pi r? Because see, the, the, when you have a circle, you need the two pi r squared, right? Pi r squared is your area. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Uh, but if pi and a comes, a is pi r square into pi it will become pi square r square. You check that. How many times it would have gone? Whether the number n is replaced, 
instead of uh, the cross section you have that many number of lines yeah yeah that is why when you say r is too large from the other end to this end r is too large that's what is computed Next one. Magnetic field due to solenoid carrying current. Solenoid consists of an insulated long wire closely wound in the form of a helix. Its length is very large as compared to its diameter. Yeah, that means that means you are you are winding it very close. So R becomes almost a zero. Yeah. Okay. Consider a long straight solenoid having n turns per unit length and carrying current i. The magnetic field set up in the solenoid, as shown in the figure, uh, at points inside the long solenoid, the magnetic field is uniform and parallel to the length of solenoid. Yeah, that is because there is no R. Exactly, it is parallel. It's it's like a line, linear. Uh. Yeah. So the formula magnetic field at a point well inside the solenoid is P is equal to mu zero n i and point near the end of solenoid magnetic field is found to be mu zero n i by two instead of mu zero n by n n i by two r. R is not there because r is insignificant. Oh, r is small value. That's why. Yeah. Okay. See now you are able to visualize. Actually now you can read it. You understand. Oh, everything. Yeah. So, uh, so next one. Magnetic field due to current carrying in toroid. Toroid is an endless solenoid in the form of a ring. And let n be the number of turns per unit length of the toroid, and i be the current flowing through it. The magnetic field is set up inside the turns of the toroid. Magnetic lines of force inside the toroid are in concentric circles. The magnetic field inside the turns of toroid B is equal to mu zero n i. Magnetic field inside the toroid is constant and is always tangential to the circular closed path. Now earlier you were talking about it is winded like this. See, I am I am winding it. For along with this, I am winding it like this, right? Uh, yes, this is the solenoid. Yeah, this is solenoid. If the pen is very thin, then there is nothing, no radius. Okay. Now what is being done? Now the same thing, but it's in a circle. Yeah, it is wind winded like this, one over the other. That is why it is called uh, torque, right? Do you have a picture there? Toroid, sir. Yeah, picture. How is the picture? Sir, can I screen share so you can see? Yeah, it? yeah, yes. <laughs> sir, can you see it? No, I am not able. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Now, what is being done? It is winded like this, and you are making a circle around it. Oh, but uh, what is like made a circle around? See, you are you are instead of linear, the same thing is put yeah. like this, but there is a circle like a string, you know. Like you have bangles. You remember the bangles used to have like this. uh sir no uh, my doubt is that in solenoid you are taking one hollow object and then rounding like copper wire or whatever yeah and then folding it like this and keeping it you have a hair band you see something like this and then put it like this so it goes like this but but then this is how the the electricity is passing inside and that itself becomes a linear one because it's a solenoid already Already, it is a solenoid. 
so it's, it's like a bigger electricity magnetic field going around in a round see sorry, sorry. see now when you are passing it like this a solenoid it's a linear energy which is creating a magnetic field the whole magnetic field is bent like this that is how you are feeling it so it's like a circular magnetic field instead of circular electric field now you read the sentence now you read the sentence once again with this view visualization okay oh the the let end number of units per given is like the toroid and i be the current flowing through it. the magnetic field is set up inside the turns yeah magnetic, magnetic field is set up inside it and, and then, then you are making a circular object with the magnetic field oh okay what a beautiful beautiful concept is that you think so uh, in the sol in solenoid is the yeah in in a solenoid you are you are passing it along a pen in a circular the second option is you have a bangle in which you have circular like this you took a bangle that's it yeah so you are making a magnetic uh, round magnet now so what is that next sentence you read next sentence uh, says Uh, the mag B is equal to mu zero and I magnetic field inside the toroid is constant and is always tangential to the closed circular closed path. Ah, now the magnetic field is like this. The tangential to that at every point tangent is keep on changing the direction. Yeah, tangential to the tangential to the circular uh, circular circular closed path. Okay. So tangential means straight, straight line, right? No, tangential means if it is a circle, at that point it is tangential. The next point it will be like this. Which one direction you have? You take a circular object. What is tangential? See for this tangential. Yeah, it keeps on changing. It's a tangent is keep on changing. Yeah, yes, it does. Oh, in in the toroid, the electric, the magnetic field will be like, uh, it will be like the chariot, like the uh, not chariot, like the Sashoka chakra. Yeah, yeah, projecting like outside, outside, like the chakra which you have in the putri, you know, uh, the parak. Uh, the yeah, it will go like that. Wonderful, wonderful visualization. Okay, okay. Yeah. Jackpot. <laughs> chakra. Sir, uh, tell an example where toroid is used in real life. See, whenever you want to pass an electric uh, energy, that is how it has to go. Any rotating wheel is like a torrential effect. Uh, so, so, sorry. See, I have to cut a uh, cut a wood. What am I doing? Am I cutting it straight like this? No. i am using a rotating wheel so that the tangential force is being applied at every point uh, no no i said of this toroid like in real life so, uh, which whichever magnetic field you wanted to induce it in the uh, vertical direction that will be the way it is used rotating uh, magnetic fields are there in many places okay okay Uh, so can I read the next one? Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, next a few examples. So I'm skipping that. Uh, electromagnet. Okay. Electromagnet definition: a uh, strong magnetic field produced inside a solenoid can be used to magnetize a piece of magnetic material like soft iron when placed inside a solenoid. Magnet so formed is called an electromagnet. Yeah. For example, it works on the phenomena phenomena of magnetic effect of current. <coughs> Construction. It consists of a large number of turns of an enamel thick copper wire wrapped very closely on a soft iron core. 
soft iron is chosen because it loses all all its magnetism when the current is switched off their shapes and sizes depend upon the purpose for which they are to be used the figure then working when the switch is closed to make a strong current to pass through the wrapped copper coil it becomes strongly magnetized when it is suspended vertically by strong drain and its lower end is touched with a heavy iron sheet lying on the ground it will stick to its teeth crane can easily lift the iron sheet to make the sheet free current is switched off application in factories very strong electromagnets are used to crane for lifting very high very heavy iron ingots and steel scraps from one place to another hospitals they are used to remove small steel splinters from the eyes of a patient in offices and houses they are using electric bells separate iron ore from iron ore from muddy impurities in metallurgical industries factors affecting the strength of magnet when it turns in the coil uh, directly proportional to the uh, strength of electromagnet current flowing in the coil directly proportional to the strength of electromagnet length of air between its poles we reduce the length of air gap between the poles of an electromagnet strength will be increased uh, so bar mag bar type electromagnet is not very strong on the other hand the air gap between the poles of a u shaped electromagnet is small so it's very strong so uh, so doctor like the air the space is inversely proportional right yeah space is suppose you have got a mag Uh, I have got a, a bell to be stuck around. See, this is the bell, and I have got a ringer. I can only click it when the induced magnetic is too close to each other. But if it is very far, it cannot go and hit. So the space, if the intensity is more, I can pull it. That is how you are able to pull large. You Now in the factories and all, it is used for that purpose. So it directly proportional to the electricity. Or the intensity of the current which you are flowing, and inversely proportional to the distance. Okay. Yeah. So next one. Uh, if it, uh, if electromagnets are used in electric bells, electromagnetic relay, relay switch for car starter, and several other instruments. If the magnetization depends upon the current flowing through the coil it is possible to obtain very powerful electromagnets by increasing the current yeah. soft iron can be easily magnetized even by a weak magnetic field whereas steel can be magnetized only by a strong magnetic field correct just know what that's what i told right uh the mark uh bar magnet permanent magnet and electromagnetic differences bar magnet is a permanent magnet electromagnet is temporary magnet uh, only when we pass a charge through it magnet gets electromagnetized and also when the current is passing through it like the number of turns and stuff and permanent magnet produces a comparatively weak force of attraction electromagnet can produce very strong magnetic force if we provide the necessary conditions Strength of a permanent magnet cannot be changed. Strength of an electric magnet can be changed by changing the number of turns in the coil, or by changing the current passing through it. North-south polarity of permanent magnet is fixed and cannot be changed. Polarity of an electromagnet can be changed by changing the direction of current in its coil. Sir, I'm not going to explain to you. Simple, no. Assume that you wanted to change the current is flowing more. Definitely, the electricity which passes will increase. Therefore, the polarity will increase. It will become more magnetic. Uh, sir, not not that. Polarity of electromagnet can be changed by changing the direction. Yeah. Assume that now. See, for example, I'll tell you. I wanted to move this towards this direction. I pass electricity from here to here. Now I change north and south. The battery which I'm using reverse connection. It will start moving here. once again if you don't know. see that assume that i am keeping a this is the south pole and this is the north pole which is induced electricity when i am passing the electricity like this now i change the polarity 
the connection i am reversing north to south and south to north the battery i am reversing automatically what will happen this south will become south here because it's anyway temporary magnet right the same principle which you have learned the coil instead of passing electricity like this now the electricity will pass the other direction therefore the polarity of this magnet will change the north will become south south will become north okay okay very simple so uh, if the the if the charge is taken from south to north Um, which will be the south and the north pole see it all depends on how do you connect to this that's what i'm saying your south and north is the way you are connecting the you said the rule is same either it is like this or like this correct only thing i am changing the connection in the wire where i am passing the electricity i am changing the connection so it will become just reverse okay that's it okay sorry Poisson a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field when a current carrying conductor is kept in a magnetic field not parallel to it force acts on it this force is created due to the interaction of magnetic field of the current in the conductor and and the and the external magnetic field on the conductor as a result of superposition resultant magnetic field on the side of the conductor is weaker than the other side and the conductor experiences a resultant force in one direction direction of this force is always right angles to the plane containing both the conductor and the magnetic field and it is predicated by the fleming's left hand rule referring to the f is force b is magnetic and i is the current okay so factors affecting the magnetic force on a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field strength of the magnetic field current flowing through the wire length of the wire angle between the magnetic field and the conductor carrying current conductor carrying current uh, a conductor carrying current magnitude of force consider a straight conductor of length l it carries i current and it is kept in a uniform magnetic field at an angle psi then the force acting on the conductor by the magnetic field f equal to Uh, F is equal to I B L sin theta. I B L sin sin theta. Uh, okay. Direction of force is perpendicular to both the conductor wires and the magnetic and the magnetic uh, magnetic field P. Direction of F can be found out by the Fleming's left hand rule. If theta is equal to zero, or uh, sin theta is equal to zero, or theta is equal to zero or one eighty, sin Sin zero is equal to sin one eighty is equal to zero. So f is equal to zero. Case one is case one. Case two theta is equal to sin this theta is equal to ninety degree. F is equal to I B L I sin ninety degree. F is equal to I B L maximum. You are able to visualize this. Uh, if this is the current. This is the field, and this is the force. This is the current. This is the field, and this is the force. Uh, one one more time. This is the current. Uh, sir, isn't that supposed to be the force? This is the field, and this is the force. Oh, got it. Now assume that that is what I am saying. When you have got a wave length, you know this is zero. This is two pi. Two pi is one eighty. Sine zero and sine two pi it is zero. That's like a wave. So it ends here, starts here, ends here. That's it. On the top it will be maximum. Got it. Uh, but pi is 90. In the, in the textbook, it is given like I am keeping my hand like this. This is the force. This is the field, and this is the yeah. Whichever direction. See, if I hold it like this and put it like this, it becomes different, right? Yeah. Yeah. But like they are saying, the thumb is the force. This finger is the field, and this is the current. Yeah. Thumb can be the force. This can be the magnet. This can be the field. 
magnetic field. This can be the field, this can be the force, I mean the magnet and this can be the magnetic field, the charge and the magnetic field. Yeah. yeah. So Fleming's left hand rule, if we structure forefinger, middle finger and thumb of our left hand in such a way that they are mutually perpendicular to each other, as shown in the figure, if the forefinger indicates a direction of magnetic field and the middle finger indicates a direction of current, then the thumb will indicate the direction of motion, that is force on the conductor. The right hand palm rule states that if you set the right hand suggests the thumb is at right angles to the fingers, then if fingers represent the direction of external magnetic field, thumb is the direction of current, then the force will be acting outside the normal of the palm. Motion of charged particle in a magnetic field, Lorentz force. When a charged particle of sign, when a charged particle of charge Q moving with velocity v in a magnetic field B at an angle theta, then force acting on the particle F is equal to Q V B sin theta. Uh, yeah, I didn't get that. See, velocity into magnetic field plus the electric field. Multiply with the charge what is given will give you the force. Okay. Lorentz force, right? Lorentz is Lawrence. Yeah, what is force? The force is based on the electric charge how much you are giving. Yeah. That charge have to become a force, so it has to multiply with the, that element which is the field. What is the field there? The field is electric field directly. Electric charge multiplied by electric field will become the force. The force is, I am applying the force. Where am I applying? With the charge, I am charging. You see, I am charging. I am charging. The field of my charge is the force. So, the field, the field depends on the charge. Maybe you have to, I don't know, what is the formula used in Q, huh? QVB sin theta. Yeah, Q, E is the energy, the electric energy. Q into E is actually the charge, the force. Sir, uh, it, it's given QE. QE? QV, sir, V for velocity. Yeah, that velocity comes only when you have a magnetic field. Understood. Velocity multiplied by magnetic field will become electric. You can add it to electric charge then. Yeah. So it is added to the electric charge. Yeah, suppose magnetic field you are not studying. Only electricity you are studying. Then also there is a uh, force. How is the force? Force is Q, the charge, multiplied with electricity. Now when you have magnetic field, what is to be done? Magnet multiplied by velocity will give you electric field. Suppose both are there, you have to add. If it is only one, only use that. The QV is exactly, or V into B into Q is the charge. The electric charge multiplied by velocity into magnetic field. In the, in the coming portion or the one we took? No, whatever is coming. Uh, in the coming ones, I, I'll just tell you the briefly what all are coming. In yeah. The, yeah. The magnetic field of earth, magnetic elements, magnetic declination, magnetic, de magnetic declination, magnetic dip, horizontal component, mag uh, then there is magnet placed within north pole towards the north of her, south pole towards north of her, like those. Then magnetic flux is coming. Then uh, then electromagnetic induction is there. 
Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction. So what you can do is you can induce electricity by giving give electricity so that magnetism can be induced. And uh, Earth has got a magnetic energy where you can measure it. You can find where it is less, where it is more. You have a normal one place. Yeah, and there is even in Earth magnet also will keep changing. Yeah. In Oman, there is a place where it is called Earth's forgetfulness. The North Pole would have become South Pole and South Pole would have become North Pole after long years. We don't know because it's all moving all the time. Galaxy is moving, Milky Way galaxy is moving. It's all has some effect of chemicals inside, right? Yeah. So, there is a great theory which says Earth itself would have gone to a change of magnetism between north and south and sometime Earth would have forgotten some place to reset it. Otherwise, you can read what happens in some places. He, he, the gravity is supposed to pull this. Yeah. Now, you keep a vehicle, it will start climbing the mountains without even uh, water. Yes, sir. That, I think there are... Yeah, that happens because there is a magnetic uh, electric field inside that which is inside the earth which it is forgot to nullify. Okay, so in earth all the parts are nullified. Uh, uh, that is why that is why we are not, uh, you know, earth itself is not attracting only the south pole and north pole, right? But suppose you take the magnet in some place, if it is rotating somehow and then showing it down. Instead of showing north to north and south to south, it shows down. Why is it happening? That is because something is below the earth, right? Yeah. Because these are all metals. Some place that metallic effect will have permanent magnet would have been created locally there. As a whole earth it doesn't. That is what you have, you have got few earth magnetic field when you talk, you talk of all this. Uh, but when we take compass, it points towards the north direction, right? So, does it point towards the south pole? See, uh, it, it, all, it, it is set like that. The needle has got a south pole, so it shows the north pole. The other end is actually the south the north pole. If you are saying this is south looking, my magnet is manufactured like that. So, I am putting a magnetic yeah. prism, compass, and I say this is north looking, that means the other side of the needle is south looking, that's it. Oh, okay. It's a dial, it's a dial in a watch, which has got it, yeah. it's a line. So, it's your interpretation and the way you are calling it. Yeah. Okay. I have used in my, maybe younger than your age. It is called a service prismatic compass. We have to hold it on our thumb and hold it like this, like a meter, and then this needle will tell which is the north direction, and we are asked to move from one place five kilometers towards north. We have to keep this needle and then stop straight away keep walking. Uh, Such uh, uh, when I was in NCC, this task was given. And then look at the map and say where we started, where we ended, whether it is really north or not. But that north is not correct north. The north in the map, north by sun, north by the... As a whole earth, when you say north of... Earth is entirely different because you know it's a tangent and the earth is curved. Yeah. So when you are saying north, it keeps on changing. The curvature keeps on changing. Yes, sir. Understood? So there is a earthen ma magnetic north and there is a true north. True north is where the sunlight is coming from. Sun also keep changing from 23 degree to the equator yes. south and north. So definitely if sun is coming, we all learn sun comes from the east, right? Yes. And 90 degree to the east has to become north. Yeah. How is it possible when the sun itself is moving 40, 46 degree? So, magnetic north is different, the true north is different. And there is another north which is called the 
the grid along the grid is along with the star positions suppose aircraft is flying aircraft is not flying on the earth it cannot see where the sunlight is aircraft cannot use the magnets got it and that location is found out with the what is called the grid north so such different maps are used one map is used with the pilotage chart it is called tpc tactical pilotage chart that doesn't have the magnetic north it has the grid north because it is going on the space the Uh, navigation people who in the navy when they wanted to go from one place to another place they will use the sunlight the true north that's called the true north and that's that map is called the oceanographic navigational chart onc maps on the ground when we use we use the service prismatic compass because we use topographic map on the ground only we will use so there are three types of maps there for three types of norths and all these norths are different all these norths are different and in each map there will be on the top of the map they will write this is as per north in 1960 so 1962 2022 to 82 years back i have fixed the norths and today when i use i have to adjust this and they will say this much minutes this much degree this much second this north is changing per year towards this direction rectify it and use it in your map so don't think that you know earth magnetism is straight always this is how it is it also gives change my job my job was satellite mapping so i am i used all this in my day to day work in my office that's nice sir but like see uh, what do you think is the cause of magnetic uh, magnet magnetism in earth that is because there are a lot of elements inside the earth which is actually boiling which is yeah. your nickel cadmium cobalt iron. all these iron and 100% for us ferro ferro and why in the sea i cannot use it because sea water itself is ferro magnetic fluid Yeah. So it has got a magnetism, magnet ferro magnetic fluid. The the sea water is ferro magnetic fluid, and again it is saline fluid. Saline because salt is there. When salt is there, electric field will change, magnetic field also will change inside the sea water. So if you use the normal compass. it will become different it will show something else it can also fluctuate because it has got a local ferromagnetic effect inside it and it is halide and it is thermohaline the temperature also varies ah okay so they so in in like navigation they use the sunlight right yeah they they see they also use all these parameters apart from uh, 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 it has got to be used in a combination okay but like uh, okay so what two two doubts doctor so first one if in the earth the core all these boiling substances are there in the core right so uh, the if that is acting as magnet it is attracting the compass needle then that should be attracting downward right because we are on top of the core no but the earth the earth itself is moving in this direction it's a highly yeah. in what speed it is moving you see that you know the circumference of the earth the diameter of the earth is 6000 is the diameter the it is not a diameter because it's not a sphere i have to say yeah. semi major axis and semi minor axis suppose it is 6400 average and you consider it as a circle at the equator 2 pi r that means 6 multiplied by 6400 so it's approximately 37000 and odd right so that many number of that much kilometer is moved in 
24 hours. So you can imagine the speed in which the earth is revolving around. And it is going around the sun, rotating. And this boiling liquid inside is rotating like this. And it doesn't change. And it is always keeping in one direction because of that polarity within that fluid. And that fluid is what is creating the magnetic field. Suppose it keeps on changing as per its will and wish and because it is rotating it keeps on changing the everything will go bizarre, right? Crazy. Yes. Nice that it is earth is behaving properly. Actually, really. Also, uh, in, the, in the ocean you told all these factors can affect the compass, right? So, what if... There is a great place, no, you are... What is that uh, triangle called? Bermuda Triangle. Ah, there nothing works. That's the biggest problem. And it is not a small area. One, I have given one Malayalam talk on uh, uh, the triangle, Bermuda Triangle, in a uh, radio program. Bermuda Triangle, Dr. Okay. DPS. Uh, sir, but uh, what do you think is the reason there? Why, why there are so many mysteries happening over there? No, that is because nothing works. Nobody can go and find it. It is not a small area. It is a large area between. It is like a big triangle of 160-170 kilometers of area. But there, there must be some unknown reason why nothing works over there. Now that is because of this. In that area, the magnetism could be different. That is why I brought the uh, subject when we are discussing about magnetism. Okay. I told you, no, it's nice, earth is behaving properly. But some place it is crazy. Basic earth. So, uh, no, what I was asking is, for example, in the ocean, if, if the compass that normally, for example, there are many factors. In the ocean, for example, the compass in Earth, if the Earth's compass is acting north, in the ocean it will be acting south. Not necessarily. That it will have a small deflection, that's it. It will have a small deflection, but some places it may misbehave also. Uh, so Dr. See, now I will tell you. No, 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 I will tell you one. Now you have you have a normal compass which shows this is the north. But you are keeping a magnet below that and then shaking it. What will happen? Yeah, it will keep fluxing. That's why it said under the sea there can be a lot of electromagnetic currents. Oh, okay. Right? Under the sea there is a lot of river which is flowing in a very fast speed. Under the sea there are rivers flowing. And that reverse will contain lot of current flow, like it's like an electricity flowing under the sea. Yeah. Got it? Because it's all ferromagnetic fluid. Ferro, thermo, halide, magnetic fluid. That's what we call fluid mechanics. I'm a fluid mechanics man. So how do we call what is um, sea water for us? Thermo, halide, ferromagnetic fluid. Okay, okay. Yeah. Because it has got temperature difference, it has salt difference, it has got electricity difference and it is fully ferro. Ferro is because it has got lot of metals which is highly electric potential. That is why assume that you keep a battery and put a wire and put a bulb connected to put into water, it will not glow. But you put the salt, salt inside and then shake it, it will start glowing. Yeah. Salt will make that electric field potential uh, high, so that it can pass electricity faster. See how I am able to visualize and see all this because we had a beautiful science teacher in my school, which probably I am he not never taught me, but during my camps when I conduct in Kerala and all that I used to call him as a teacher, Anandan master. If you look at the Dr. TPS Anandan Master, you can see a lot of this Fleming's rule, the magnetism, the electricism, the, all that is explained with a lot of experiments. He will come with many bags with a lot of items, which we gadget, which we can connect together and then show all these experiments. That's how he does it. Oh, yes. Are you, are you contacting such camps? Not now. Well, then will you be, are you, are you planning to contact in the... 
future? I don't know. I don't plan anything based on the number of people who are coming. There is a demand. I keep doing things. So this year it's not there. No, no. Last two years, three years, it was not there. I did it. I did it in. Um, um, I came to BPS and did it. I did it in uh, in their school in Doha, Islamic school. What is it called? Uh, I, yeah, I came. I, I, I came two three times. I came two three times to conduct camps. No. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that was only three days. But when it happens in residential, it is ten days. That's it. And many students came from Doha also to stay with me. Yeah, I know. I, even I thought I, 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 if there was, I will come this year. But unfortunately, that is not. So now you read with this concept and visualization. Now you are able to visualize. Physics is to visualize. When you visualize and read and look at every word, technical word, identify the meaning, understand it with the dictionary meaning, understood it. Don't learn, understand the meaning. Okay. Got it? Then it will become easier. And there are a lot of videos available. If you just look at, take one one examples and look at a video, you will know. But love for physics. Some beautiful um, video lectures will be there where it is experimentally shown. Physics, yeah. physics learning becomes very simple when you look at experiments conducted and then realize it, visualize it. Yeah. Uh, doctor, if you have like, like what, the five minutes to spare, can I uh, ask you something which is not yeah. totally not related? Yeah. So, um, my major uh, interest is about uh, astrobiology, the field of astrobiology. So. About outer space and life on other planets, I'm a huge supporter of that. And also about, uh, also about this, uh, the you know the the confusing parts of the galaxy, like black holes or the areas where space time is not acting, light travel. I don't know how to call it into a, I don't know how to corner it into a specific field, but those are my interests. So recently, I was thinking upon light, uh, in, like how to time travel. And uh, is, do you think there is a link between time travel and uh, I, I'll explain. So, uh, if if I'm able to say I'm able to build a ship, uh, a spaceship, which can travel two times this faster than the speed of light, because like with these alcubiers, warp drive, and everything like that, there might be chances it can, it can come in the future, right? So I'm I'm able to make a ship that travels two times the fa the speed of light. So, do you think I can time travel if I build that ship like that? I can try time travel, you know, maybe two times before into the future. See, um, the human body and the existing living beings, non-living beings, we don't know, living beings at least. If they change their parameters slowly, there will be a lot of biological changes. Got it? Assume you are going under the submarine and then wanted to do some experiments under the sea. People are sent in tablets, big tablets. The tablet is like a three bedroom house. Yeah. You have a kitchen, you have a bedroom, you have an experimental hall and all that. And then you can have three more doors where the water cannot enter inside. And such things people are put inside and then dumped inside that. And in that environment is created in such a fashion as I am living on the earth such environment is created but from that yeah. when i go into the water from that house a small tablet house when i go out i have been connected with all the jackets i am not only breathing with this nose not only with the ears yeah. every skin is having 3600 pores one inch by one inch area that is also breathing so whole whole body is given with such an environment and everything will work only in the normal speed in which I travel. If I just change my travel speed, everything will collapse. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that. You are understood what I am saying. So, nobody could even think about traveling very, not even maybe uh, one millionth speed of the speed of light. Yeah. We are not even thinking of. See, you look at the whole galaxy in the speed in which it is moving. The Milky Way galaxy moving, the Brahmandam is moving, and in that, the 
the earth and sun around the earth the moon around the earth the moon and the sun uh, moon and the earth around the sun all these movements are in such a tandem everything is balanced yeah okay and nobody can even think about very close to the sun speed so these are all only fantasies uh, sir but uh, i am not sure if, like i saw this theory proposed by this scientist called alkibier about something called as alkibier's drive see i'll tell you the fl earth is flat if you search on google earth is flat you will see lot of stupid people still talking earth is flat so the theories are plenty people keep talking about the quantum theory is wrong it is the, the publishing a paper writing a book making fantasies around this is a very simple matter like making a movie maybe 20 years back when i used to come to gulf and travel around the world for lectures around india and gulf these are the two places in 20 years 22 years back i started to work many people kept on asking is it 2020 the world world is going to be over 2000 the world is going to be over because somebody made a movie 2000 the world is going to be over once upon a time people made a theory saying that the world is freezing the earth is freezing it will become cool and then everybody will die and now the theory is earth is warming everybody will die after some time nothing is going to happen they are all some fun global warming itself is a big bogus there is nothing called the global warming things will change after some time again there was a time in early 1900s or 1920 1940 earth was chilling from 1980 up to 1980 earth was heating now it is fluctuating it will again come back or it may change doesn't make make any difference so these are all theorems people make predictions because i am not available here after 100 years if i make a theorem and i wanted to become locally famous during that time so these have no cosmology is unpredictable many people don't even the physical situation that may can have before human existence it was like this after some time it will be like this large time in life span which is going to be like this no theorems will hold for long years it's all fun uh, yeah that's correct but there is suppose everything just just suppose yeah everything this this we are able to build a ship have you seen the martian movie yeah i have it's all fun there nothing greater than that right yeah sir no i'm not talking about mark movie I'm, i'm talking like you know just in case this this has me not been projected in any movies but we all know when we travel next to a black hole time slows down right so i'm just it's somewhat related so imagine we are able to build a ship which can travel more than the speed of light so just everything everything is in favor of us we can we can travel in that ship also because the reason why i'm telling is the from planet earth to planet mars say if i'm traveling from planet earth to planet mars i re, i start from day 1 here on planet earth and i reach planet mars on day 2 so that day one gap is coming when i'm traveling less than the speed of light and when i'm traveling at the speed of light i'm able to reach mars on day one only right but say my ship travels more than the speed of light so when i'm leaving my it's day one but when i'm traveling two times of speed of light i understood you what you are asking am i going back in my life exactly yeah these are all imaginary the way you are imagining that also you can imagine that's it but there is a possibility that that uh, imagination has imagination is imagination there is nothing which is possible also you can imagine right it's a dream so you keep dreaming that's it yeah. yes see you are talking the first itself you say it's an imagination then what do you imagine after that is also your imagination that's it See, I also wrote a poetry saying that what will happen if people keep meeting outside the earth and then, no? Long back, long back, I have written a poetry which is called "Mission to Moon and Mars." Okay. Then what will happen to my life? 
What will happen to my Jataka? I am not uh, staying here, I am staying in some other planet. Everything will change. Uh, everything will change. Yeah. Uh, I, sorry for, uh, thank you for sparing some time with me uh, for all this. Just uh, really, really... What I, yeah. what I expect is some time, no? Just, I am sure everybody has time, everybody has time, time, time constraint. But look at it. I am sending a lot of videos to your mother every day. Some link thinking that, no, yeah. she will have some interest. Right? Yeah. When you get it, look at it once and then make a comment with her one line. And assume that Dr. Yeah. TPS Physics, Dr. TPS Chemistry, look at it the way I am talking. Then it will become, oh, this is how I am. And when you have interest, yes, then you find, oh, this person is good, I can learn. Not for me alone. Then you should share, oh, this is what I learned from this person. That's how I, I, I like to that, know, not a selfish person who will also become a shareholder to the society. So it is not I learn. I also share to my colleagues. I also share to the person saying that I am seeing something interesting. This is how it is being explained. You can also learn. So I am going to post this. Look at uh, how, see, look at how many of your colleagues look at it and then understand how many people will love it. That is what I do. I look at every comment which is coming on my video. <laughs> so when I see that, oh, this person is looking at it. That's how I understand. Okay, yesterday there was a uh, uh, no link which I have sent for learning in US. I have not seen you. It is it's a general knowledge. You know, how do you get admission in America? So you are looking for what is going to happen in your life after a few years. Some option somebody is talking. No, it's not me. Some university people are talking. I'm only hosting it. So why I am saying when I have sent such message, no reply, no answer for that. When I am sending, there has to be some acknowledgement, right? And when you send a message, immediately I wanted to acknowledge it, respond it very fast. Immediate response I am looking for. But when I am sending, no response at all. Response is not an acknowledgement. Response is different from acknowledgement, right? Response is I respond to that. Yeah. So yesterday I expected at least some people who are from Gulf. That is the time is set for 2, 7 and 7.30 and for Indians 9 o'clock. But I hardly seen people in Gulf join. Got it? Because I was connecting to some abroad university for studies, I thought maybe some people like you will join. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Thank you.